All right, so starting in Lightfall, uh, Bungie added this system called Commendation Score, where uh, people can commend each other, and um, Commendation Score is a requirement to get Guardian rank, and at rank 11, you need 6,000 Commendation Score, which is very high. Uh, it's going to take you a very, very long time. It's a very tedious system, and usually people forget to commend each other after an activity is over because they're not used to doing it yet, right? So today I'm going to make a short guide on how to farm Commendation Score as quickly as possible so you can get it out of the way early on if you want, and then, um, you know, you don't have to worry about it again. You can just gain it passively, but as of right now, Commendation Score, very, very annoying to get, um, and this is even if you're someone who uh, Sherpas people, because, you know, it's really awkward to be like, hey, don't forget to commend me, you know? It's kind of weird. So, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to show you how to uh, farm Commendation Score very quickly. So... First, what you're going to need is you're going to load into Last Wish, so you need access to Last Wish. And um, you should bring five people along with you, right? They can be your friends, they can be really anyone. Um, but the more you do this with the same set of players, the less commendation score you'll build over time. So you want to cycle out the players that you are playing with. So the best way to do this is to kind of just go into LFG and maybe, you know, do it with some people there. Some people are already doing this. Uh, or you can um, just don't do it super often because it resets every day. Uh, unless I'm, I'm sure Bungie will adjust how this system works in the near future, but that is all you need to know for now. So the first thing you need to do, load into Last Wish, go to Kali. And when you go to Kali, you're going to get a checkpoint for Kali. So have a Kali checkpoint. You're going to launch, right, with five other people. And the person that is entering the Wish is going to need Divinity. And uh, preferably, if you want things to be a little fast, you're going to want to be on some sort of movement ability class. So that can be Strand, you can use a Grapple to get up to the Wish Wall, or you can be on uh, Dawnblade and you can use Heat Rises, uh, it's kind of up to you. Um, but yeah, those are your two choices. And what we're actually doing is we're going to enter the Petra's, Petra's Run Wish. And basically, Bungie made a small oversight when it comes to commendations in that any activity that ends and sends you to orbit, that end screen is where you can com commend people. So in Master Wellspring, it has the extinguish modifier. Grandmasters have the extinguish modifier. If you wipe there and you go to orbit, uh, the commendation screen appears. So it's the same thing with Wish. And the thing about raids is that you may have seen like Cheese Forever's video about Master Wellspring. Um, that video is great because the activity is very fast. You can wipe as soon as you get in. But the problem is you get a lot less commendation score from activities like that compared to raids. In raids, you get a lot of commendation score, which is why this is so good. So I'm going to place a flag here. And um, yeah, so if you're on Heat Rises, you can kind of just pop Heat Rises and kind of mountaintop boost yourself up there or just go up there. Uh, there's like a well line spot that I use. It's not very consistent. I think it's like right here. Yeah, there you go. Now you go all the way up here. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to uh, show you guys a, a new wall macro that I made that I'm going to be releasing. Um, this one is very, very customizable, and it also is very, very fast. It is the fastest wall macro. Uh, I was using it kind of personally, and I didn't really release it because uh, it wasn't super stable. Um, but now I'm feeling pretty confident in it, and also you guys can kind of play with the settings. It's very easy to play with the settings, and um, you can figure out what works best for you. Okay? So this time, instead of lining up with the bottom of the plate, you're just going to stand on this dot, right? Much better landmark. Just stand on the dot, right? Pretty simple. Aim at the middle of the wall. And uh, let's go ahead and open the macro. So if we go to macros, we go to wall menu three. Um, you just press F3 to start the macro. And you'll notice that um, each of the wishes now tells you how much div ammo you need next to it. And there's also three options here. So there's change sensitivity, change recoil, and change speed uh, slash shot delay. Okay. And I'll explain what each of those does in a second. So the three main controls you have to know for this wish wall macro is um, F3 is to start it or to show you the menu. F4 is to end the program completely. So if you press F4 and you press F3 again, it's not going to do anything because it closed the whole macro. And then F5 is to reload it. So let's say you want to just reset the macro, but you don't want to open it again. You could just press F5, and that'll reload the macro, okay? And you can do this during a wish. You can do, like, whatever you want, you know, whenever it'll just stop the macro and reload it, okay? Um, so, yeah, let's let's just go over something real quick. So I also made the settings thing not a text file anymore. It's an uh, INI file. So if I delete this, right, and let's say you run the macro, and you press F3, It'll say, no wall settings INI found. Please input your settings now. 
and you just input your settings. So my the settings that I used while I was making this macro are the default settings. So I'll just put eight, because that's my in-game sense. I'll put 2.95, that's the default recoil value. And um, I'll put uh, 53 milliseconds, which is the fastest you can make this macro. If you put it any lower, you either start uh, not registering div shots or you um, you just you just have issues with inputs really. It just, it just doesn't work very well, right? So I'll put in 53. And now um, the wall is uh, it's up, right? So now it'll it'll make that file for me. So if you go in and look here, wall settings.ini, that's that's a file now. And uh, now I can press F5 if I want to close it. And uh, let's put in the the Petra's macro, right? So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. So Petra's is 13. So one three, okay. There you go. And now you just jump off the map. Oh, there we go. Boom. And now normally when you have, uh, you know, five other people with you, you can commend all of them here, right? And so this becomes very, very fast, right? You can get these times down to like 40, 50 seconds if you have a player that's fast and, you know, is uh, gets up there quickly and has, you know, has the macro. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if that's all you came here for, that's all you need to do. The other people just need to die after the wishes input. So that's very straightforward. Um, as for other things, uh, if you want to stick around, I can. I'm gonna show you kind of briefly how the how the macro looks now on the inside. Um, so yeah, this is the macro, right? Um, uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, you can, you know, it's it's it looks kind of like the the old version of the macro. If you have access to that video, um, it's on my channel somewhere. But um, yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, the only differences are uh, now it uses an INI file, and um, there's some extra stuff. There's a there's a faster shoot method as well, and there's a <coughs> you stand in a different spot, and uh, so it uses different coordinates because you stand in a different spot, and also there's uh, methods of changing your um, your macro, right? So I'm gonna just briefly go over that, right? So if you need to adjust this macro in any way, right? If you need to adjust this macro in any way. Uh, you just need to press F3 and then, you know, type in 15, 16, 17, whatever. So let's say I type in 15 and then I, I type in 10 for my in-game sense, it'll set it to 10. And then I just press F3 again and I can run the macro. So um, the reason why I made the macro like this is because I was getting a lot of questions from different people. I was They were saying like, yo, you know, um, the macro is not working on my sensitivity or, you know, it's it's going down too much or it's going up too much. Um, so this is really easy. Now you can adjust the values yourself inside the macro without having to edit the actual code. Uh, very, very simple. You just, you know, press F3. And let's say I want to change my recoil. I go to 16. It says higher equals down, right? So let's say, you know, my divinity when I'm shooting it for whatever reason is, is going down too much, right? It's, it's drifting downward. Then I just decrease it from what I know the value is, which is 2.95 right now. And then uh, I decrease it to maybe like 2.9, right? So very, very simple, very straightforward. If you want to edit the values uh, manually, you can. I don't have File Explorer open right now. But um, you just go to wall settings. You can just open this in like notepad or whatever and just change it here. So sensitivity 10, recoil 2.95, cycle time 53. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know uh, in my comments or on Discord. Uh, my Discord is uh, Aegis 8622. I mean, it's listed on the macro title itself now, so people don't have to ask me what my Discord is. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, have fun with the macro. I mean, it works for Riven wishwalling, for loot. It works for Shuro if you need the Shuro checkpoint and the uh, checkpoint bots are down. Uh, it works for Morgoth if you want transition practice or something. So, and if you're in an LFG and you're shortbowing someone, you know, you can do the, the emblem macro. <laughs> Lots of lots of stuff in here. It has every wish, um, and hopefully, if you have any problems with it, like it's going down too much or the sensitivity is not working, now you know you can adjust it yourself in the actual macro without you know any any problems. All right. So uh, best of luck. Help me be.